Welcome to this deck unboxing of the Vedic Tarot, East Meets West by Duina Murphy Gibb. And this deck is published by Red Feather Schiffer Publishing. And it, it came out here in the UK only two days ago. I'm super stoked I've received a copy to review. Um, so after I've unboxed this uh, next week sometime, I'm going to do a, a review on my blog, the Angelorum Tarot blog as well. But today we're just going to take a look, see what initial impressions we get from this deck. So as you can see on the back here, it says unlock the fusion of Eastern spirituality and Western Tarot wisdom with this masterful creation years in the making, which offers a tapestry of teachings and transformative insights. Explore the tarot's correlation with Vedic Sanskrit, Irish Oam, tree alphabet and Hebrew, plus musical notes and instruments tied to the chakras for a deeper holistic awareness. Immerse yourself in 81 cards, ooh, extras, yay, <laughs> inspired by visions of a glorious past, guiding you back to an immortal future and empowering soul transformations, etc. Right, so... As you can see, this is a big box, uh, sturdy, and it's got a magnetic flip top lid, which I love. And let's have a look at the book here first. It's a thick one, okay, which is good because I do know a little bit about the Hebrew alphabet correspondences, but I know absolutely nothing about Oham, and I know very little about the Vedic tradition. And I am so looking forward to using the tarot to learn more. I mean, this is an exceptional learning tool. Oh, look here. We've got 25 major arcana cards in this deck. How exciting. And we can see here that some of the titles have been changed. So we've got the Maga Masters of Hidden Laws, Key of Remembrance, instead of the High Priestess. But otherwise, they look our oh, first traveler instead of the Fool. Yeah, so we'll just, that's lovely. Let, let's see if we can find any spreads here. Oh yes, Tree of Life spread. Great, so that's that's Kabbalah obviously. So we, yeah, that looks great. And then we've got the Mandala spread. And we've got a glossary of Sanskrit um, terminology, which is great because I don't know any of that. And let's go to the start of the book. So it introduces the minor arcana. And then, as you can see, for each major arcana card here, it's got lots of text, four pages. Let's see for the minors, we've got two pages each for the minors, it looks like here at a glance at least. Okay, so let me see what it says on the inside lid here. The system of the Tarot and the Vedic Mysteries come together in this card deck, bridging the divide between East and West and demonstrating the many parallels between the symbolic and spiritual systems of both cultures. Yay, I love syncretism. <laughs> and I love comparing and contrasting. It's my Gemini rising, I think. But anyway, so these are the card backs. And it looks like some kind of musical instrument, if I'm not um, completely wrong. Oh, that's upside down. We want them that way. So we're going to start with this half of the deck. I don't know if you saw, but they come in like two compartments, the cards like that. So we're going to do the first half. So here's the first traveler, then the full card. And I absolutely adore the colors. I think this is the, the first card, though. It's kind of like a a beginning card of, of no formation yet. So that, that looks interesting. Let's see what it says about that. So you've got a bit of um, Sanskrit writing here. Um, not sure where the Oham symbol is. Oh yeah, here, yeah, of course. And yeah, beautiful artwork, so colorful. Absolutely love the artwork. It's just making me happy. The Maga. The Empress, that looks like Lakshmi. The Emperor, that looks like Shiva and Ganesha. And the Lovers there, the Charioteer. 
Arbor Vitae. Uh, yeah, so that's the Wheel of Fortune, which is a tree of life, I think. Oh, no, wait. No, that's an extra then, because that's between the Chariot and Justice. Yeah, that's an extra. Then we've got the Hermit. Then we've got the Wheel. Yeah, beautiful. Stunning artwork. Strength. The hanged man the changes i mean you can tell there's so much passion and so much depth in this artwork um oh oh Gen genesis so this is this follows um temperance so this looks like another extra and then we've got the deerful which i think is like the devil and then we've got the tower and the star, the moon, the sun, judgment, the world inside an egg. It looks like an egg cracking open there. Ace of Cups. Wow. Two of Cups. Three of Cups. Four of Cups. Five. So you can see some of the Rider weight uh, similarities here, you know, the, the two upright cups and the three lying down and, and the attention being on the three lying down, the spilt milk cups. Um, six of cups with two swans, they're beautiful. Seven of cups, eight. This is quite traditional way of turning your back on the cups still standing and walking away. The Nine of Cups, yeah, Satisfaction. Ten of Cups, the F Happy Families card. Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. I just love the colours. They're so bright and colourful, these cards. Queen and King. And yeah, these are the backs then with the musical instrument. So let's reach for the other half. And we're on to... And the suit of wands. Let's see, I'll show that one properly. Ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I love the hearts in that. That's cute. <laughs> Nine of Wands, ten, four, Knight, Queen, King, and the Suit of Swords, also very colourful. So that's quite traditional with the heart and the three swords piercing in it. The four of swords, okay. He's rolled up his mat and he's walking away here. So that's a little bit different compared to the Rider Waite. Here we've got a, quite a traditional looking five of swords and quite a traditional looking six of swords. Seven of swords, the thief. <laughs> okay, eight of swords, that's interesting. Nine of Swords, also quite traditional looking. And the Ten of Swords, yeah. Yeah, very good. I love the artwork. It really sparks the imagination, all the colours. You can make some great stories as well. Use these cards for as writing prompts and, you know, for creative writing or journaling and two of shields so we're on to um shields here as is, is the suit of pentacles and three four five six seven eight nine Pay, 
page of shields. Queen and the king of shields. Wow, that's powerful. Really powerful. And you can see the drum there for the musical instrument. And that's an OM stave. I'm really, really looking forward to learning the OM staves, I must admit. Uh, but the, I mean, how many pages? <laughs> how many pages? Yeah, almost 300 pages here of information. So, you know, this is going to take a while to get through. Um, and I probably won't. Well, I, I know I won't. I won't read the whole thing before I, I review the deck next week on the Angelorum Tower blog. But I, I intend to do some studying at least and play around with the deck to see how it reads. So this deck, like I said, it came out a couple of days ago here in the UK and it's available to buy in your local bookshops or um, online. And you can buy it directly from Schiffer Publishing or here in the UK from gazellebookservices.co.uk and I'll drop their link in the description box below. Um, yeah, look, it's, it's thick as well. It's good cardstock, this. You can, I mean, you can tell by the thickness of the deck, right? Um, so it's silky matte and it's really good. Let's give it a shuffle and see how it shuffles, yeah? No, that was me being clumsy. Let's try again. Yeah, really good. Nice and easy. They're quite large, these cards. So I've got quite small hands, but it's still absolutely doable. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Why don't we pull one card for the collective and see what message we get? Ace of Wands, how apt. A spark of inspiration. That's how I feel looking at this deck. It's just really inspiring. It makes me want to create. So yeah, very appropriate. Let's see what it says in the book about the Ace of Wands here. Um, here we are. Ace of Wands, divination. Aces are always new beginnings. This is the first spark of willpower fueled by intuition and desire. The spurt that encourages growth from bud to flower, the fire of inspiration present only when zest and enthusiasm come to the fore. Once our directive and the inner eye is drawn to the goal, the target being the end result of that power. A huge release of energy follows the sighting and opportunities present themselves psychically to ensure success. The right books, tools and instructions appear. The energy of will is a magnet that draws whatever is needed or desired to make this rise to fruition. Adrenaline is addictive and others are compelled to be there to aid in the project, infected and excited by the purity of enthusiasm. Ones are also healing, the plants rising to the fire and air, demanding room to grow and blossom to attract the pollinators for survival. At a higher aspect, ones take on the element of air but a light filled air bathed in the glory of the sun. And then it goes on to talk about the Sanskrit uh, correspondence here, Gayatri, illuminating rays of light. And the Hebrew, uh, Haith, um, or Haith, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, Fens. And then you have the Oam, which is the hazel tree. Ooh, lovely, my staff is hazel. <laughs> And the musical instrument is the Indian bamboo flute. So lots to learn there. Beautiful. Well, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and walkthrough of this deck or, yeah, introduction to this deck. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Lots of love.